Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Do you know anything about Dry Creek? Dry Creek. Closest town to Shadow Mountain. Population at its peak, 317. Leading citizen was Cappy Munger. His establishment contained the only piano within 50 miles. Frances, being as smart as she was, taught herself how to play it. That's apparently how she met Dirk. He heard her composing a song one day and fell in love on the spot. I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Talk to you soon. You do that. <laughs> Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. An electrician's manual. Wonder what that's doing here. Interesting. Looks like someone's been hanging out in here. Looks like I need to put in a password. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure you'll go. Take your forks and a crank.
Sheriff Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Would you happen to know the brand name of crackers back in the 1880s whose slogan was even the crumbs are crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Beth has. She's a big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Call us. Hi, can I help you with something? Do you know anything about the treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. What makes you so sure? If I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, 2 cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing but a tall tale, trust me. Have you by any chance ever come across any silverware that may have belonged to Dirk Valentine's girlfriend, Francis? Silverware? I found a letter that referred to Francis Humber's forks. Do you have any idea what that means? Maybe she had a thing for forks. I went out with a guy once who was into spoons. He collected them? He dangled them. We sat down in a restaurant, and the next thing I knew, he had spoons hanging from every part of his face. Like I said, I went out with him once. It was great talking to you. Come in again. If I ask, maybe Mary will let me borrow these. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. I already have 10 arrowheads, see? So you do. It looks like I only need 9 to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Come in again. Dirk custom made this, which means I better not go messing around in there. 
The shape of this box looks familiar. This outline reminds me of something. Now go and peek beneath zebra rock, and a tractor of metal what's there will unlock. Now go and... Looks like Mary Yazi and Tex? Dave said to wear gloves. Tex must have turned the horses out for the night. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That looks right. That doesn't look right. This goes here. That looks right. That doesn't go there. doesn't look right. This goes here. That 
looks right. This goes here. There. Sorry, coyotes. No chicken dinner for you tonight. Oh my gosh, my gloves. They're glowing. That powder in the ghost town. Again? Was anything sabotaged? The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. Glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. It'd sure be nice if you two were here with me. Well, the fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. I don't need that right now. Nancy, I figured after last night you'd be long gone. I know I would be if I were you. Things aren't that bad. Not that bad. I'm in here with no water. I'm terrified to turn the gas on for fear something's gonna blow up. And if that generator goes, I could be cooking in the dark for days, weeks. Well, not weeks, because no way am I staying here that long. I'm so freaked out now, I'm not sure I can last one more day. Just hang in there. I have a feeling that all this is going to be over soon. Listen to you. Cool, calm, optimistic. I'm a wreck and you're a rock. Of course, you're also dead wrong and totally deluded, but I'm still impressed. Want me to do anything before I go riding? Same old, same old. If you bring me all the ripe stuff from the garden, I'll give you a basket to fill up with eggs. And once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid around here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? I just heard about it, that's all. When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. That horseshoe wasn't there before. Maybe the ghost horse threw it while it was running away last night. My antiperspirant's going to get a workout today. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. 
Now, if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for fixing that fence. What can I do for you? I'm pretty sure I saw Mary Yazzie riding on the Raleigh's property. Have you ever seen her riding around here? Can't say as I have, but then most of my duties require me to stay close to home. Tex, he's the one you ought to ask. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? You can find more eggs than that. You bet I can. <laughs> Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. something I found a horseshoe outside that wasn't there yesterday I was thinking that maybe the phantom horse threw it it's got a rock wedged in it so it does looks like the kind of rock you'd find out by the ghost town I've been to the ghost town but I didn't see any horse I'm just telling you what I know you don't want to hear what I got to say then quit asking me stuff do you go out there much? Nope, and I'll tell you why. Last time I was out there, my horse acted real strange. Even tried to throw me. Was like he saw something I couldn't, something he didn't like, something that was telling him to stay away. Did I see you and Mary Yazzie riding together? Me and Mary Yazzie? Of course not. Why, and said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle put back together right. I put the bit next to the can. Talk to you later. No hurry. Okay, there's the head stall. Now, let's see. This goes here. That looks right. This goes here. That looks right. I'm getting there. Perfect. Need something? I put that bridle back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Bob. <laughs> 
Hi, can I help you with something? Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? Yeah, I kind of tricked him into telling me. I don't believe it. He swears me to secrecy, then goes blabbing it to some teenager? Oh well, it was bound to come out sometime. That's kind of what Tex said too. I mean, we're in love. What's the big deal? Right, you're in love. What's the big deal? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, did he? You tricked me. Oh, you're good. You are good. Why do you think you have to keep your love for each other a secret? Tex knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. The Raleigh's wouldn't do that. I think the real reason Tex wants to keep it a secret is because he's got this rough, tough loner thing going. I think the idea of changing his image scares him. Knowing Tex, that does make sense. Anyway, Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep it a secret, and we blew it. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. Why are you so interested in buying that property from the Raleigh's? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. The stuff I saw in here before is gone. Looks like I scared somebody off. Maybe this is the key to the jail cell. I'm in the jail cell. So far, so good. I'm getting there. Very good. Underbank lamp. I'll bet that's the key. I need a rope. I have enough of those. 